How to Charge a Revolution ROV Your ROV will be shipped with three charging cables. The two larger transformers are for the ROV batteries, and the smaller one is for the controller. Remove the port plugs on the ROV batteries. Check that the ports are dry. Use compressed air to remove any moisture. Charging the ROV while the ports are wet will not damage the internal electronics, but the pins will quickly corrode and the whole port may need to be replaced. All ports on the ROV are pressure rated and water leaking past the plug into the port will not compromise the electronics. However, corrosion of the pins is a significant concern. Plug the chargers into a power source. The LEDs on the transformers will turn green. Plug the chargers into the ROV. Each plug is shaped such that it can only be plugged in with the correct orientation. The LEDs on the transformers will turn red, indicating there is a power draw. Note that battery tubes can be charged while disconnected from the ROV. The chargers are smart and will stop delivering power when each battery is fully charged, meaning they can be left safely overnight. The red LEDs on the transformers will turn green when the ROV is fully charged, which should take approximately two and a half hours. Next, open the charging port on the controller and ensure it is dry. Plug the charger into the wall. The LED on the transformer will turn green. Plug the charger into the controller. The plug is shaped such that it can only be plugged in with the correct orientation. The LED will turn red, indicating that there is a power draw. This is also a smart charger and can be left safely overnight. The red LED will turn green when the controller is fully charged, which should take approximately one and a half hours. This charger is not water resistant and charging must be carried out in a dry environment. Finally, it is important to know that lithium batteries will discharge slowly over time and will degrade if charge is depleted beyond a certain level. Always store the Revolution batteries and the bridge controller with a full charge. For long periods of storage, make sure to unbox and fully charge each battery every six months.